What's going on guys and welcome to the channel where we talk about e-commerce, social media strategy and all things entrepreneur. If you want to see videos like that, make sure you drop below, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I'm posting videos. So today I'm going to go over some of my top tips for your Shopify store and your website to seem more legitimate when you have traffic coming. So if you're a beginner in Shopify store, these are things that you might not think of and they're really crucial just to make your whole website come together and make you seem like a real and legitimate business. So let's get into it. All right guys, so there's a few things that you should really have on any website, a Shopify store, you know, it doesn't even matter if it's a portfolio page, whatever it is, you should have a few main things that you might not think about when uh, you're basically starting a page. So the first one is gonna be a contact us. So if you have a website, you have to have some way for people to get in contact with you. Um, and it might not, you know, come to you right away, but you should definitely have one. So if you're in your Shopify dashboard, go to your pages. If you don't have a, um, basically a contact us page yet, you'll go to add page over on the top. And then the only thing different that you have to do is just go to this template suffix. And instead of a regular page, you're going to want to click page.contact. And what this is going to do is just basically generate, uh, a message form I'll show you guys what the what the template looks like um, it might look a little bit different depending on the theme that you pick I know maybe if you buy a, a, a purchase theme um, there might be some more customizations that you can do it might look a little bit different but for the, just the general store um, you'll go change your template suffix you can you know do your content and title like you normally would do and then if you want to see what it looks like so this is just the active ambitions page um, so I have my contact us at the bottom but uh, I know a lot, some some websites maybe have like a little menu um, that you'll click on or a slide out menu or even they'll put their contact us in the top but for me I just like to keep it in the bottom uh, with my other things for the navigation so contact us and this is all that pops up just a quick message um, you know basically contact us and leave your name email phone number and message and then they send it and it'll automatically send that message to whatever email you have um, set up through your Shopify settings. So it's really simple to do and when customers come to your page or they have questions You want them to be able to reach you You don't want to lose customers because you know They thought it was sketchy that there was no information and they couldn't talk to somebody so definitely recommend just add it It'll take you maybe five minutes and you know, it could it could um, boost some sales for you All right guys, so the next one the next thing that you should definitely have it's another page and it is about us page so if you go back to the Active Ambitions page, I have an About Us page, a blurb about the company, you know, what we do. I have, you know, focused on our planet, people, and innovation. Your About Us page is your opportunity just to basically tell somebody something that they're not going to find on your website or, or know about you. You know, this is when, this is your chance to create a story, create a brand, uh, create a story about your brand, brand to create the brand itself and basically just to earn customers trust and make your business um, sound legitimate. So, um, you know, any major business is gonna have an About Us page or their mission statement or something along those lines. And I would have that right up at the top, right? I would have your About Us at the top. I know a lot of websites will also put it down at the bottom. So I, have it, I also have it down at the bottom um, because you should be proud of your company and be able to give a statement about what, what it is you do, what you guys believe in, and um, just an overall mission statement. So uh, add the about us, in, improves your credibility, um, fills out your website, and just overall you know, improves your business, makes your business look a lot better. Okay guys, so the next one is going to be adding policies. So this was something that I didn't even really think of uh, in the beginning. Uh, for my first Shopify stores and you should definitely have it right so um, Three policies that you should have you should if you're selling if you're selling things Obviously you should have a refund policy you should have a privacy policy because you're taking customers information and you should have um, a terms and conditions so luckily uh, Shopify actually sets it up for you uh, really great so if you go to your settings from your home dashboard and then you go to checkout uh, You scroll down towards the bottom uh, keep going keep going you're gonna get to this point right here so you have a refund privacy and uh, TOS statement so TOS is just terms of service so basically a terms and conditions so um, if you haven't already done this 
Um, the great thing is that you can literally just click this uh, generate sample refund policy, scroll down, generate sample privacy policy, and then uh, generate a sample terms of service. So these are gonna basically um, cover you know, the basics of, of what you should have in them. Uh, they have really good language in them, make it sound you know, like a professional policy of a business because you're probably not gonna be able to write one of these unless you're like a lawyer or something or you, know, or you have um, experience doing that. And then after you create these policies, um, I recommend that you create a page for them. So basically copy paste these. And also, by the way, before I, before I leave this page, make sure for these policies, they do automatically take your address and put them in here. So if you scroll down towards the bottom, uh, towards like the shipping of about where to ma mail the product to, just make sure you, re you review the policy and it has all the correct information about what you want, right? Because it's just a sample. It's, it's not the policy that you have to keep based on Shopify. You determine the policies. They give you a really good sample to work off of but just make sure you tailor it and it makes sense for your customers. You don't wanna like not have the right information in there because you, I mean, the policies are your business. You have to stand by whatever they say. Um, so like I said, uh, after you generate your, your policies, you're gonna go back to the pages. So we'll go um, back to the pages. We're gonna add a page like we did before. And then we're just going to copy paste basically the privacy policy, the refund and the terms of service. And then we're going to put them down on our footer menu. So as you can see right here. So for me, I didn't want to have a ton of links. So I just made an all policies page and then I linked my refund privacy in terms of service from there. And then just gave a little statement. You know, if you're unsure, or have any questions, review our policies or feel free to contact us at this email. Um, I, I definitely like doing this, having all the policies in one spot because it doesn't clutter your footer menu. Um, but it's up to you, you know, how many policies you want and how you want to do it. I know uh, different themes are going to have different footer menus and, and where stuff goes. So, all right, guys. So the last two things we're going to talk about are newsletter signups and social media profiles. So the first one, newsletter signups. You want to be able to take people's emails. It's really crucial that you have a list of customers who like your brand and you can use them to basically um, have an audience to market to, to retarget on Facebook and basically just all of your, your marketing uh, strategies. Um, there's no reason why you should not have a newsletter and be collecting an email list and be conducting email marketing. So if you scroll down to the bottom, I have my basically sign up. It's typical to have a sign up for a newsletter in the footer. Um, I know some of the themes on Shopify automatically put it there. So just give a little bit of blurb about, you know, what it is and maybe what they could get from it. You know, a 10% off if you sign up today, offer them something to get the email because the email is really important. It's, it's val it holds value to you. And then you don't have to just use, you know, the custom or the basically whatever comes with uh, your theme in the, in the footer. Uh, I know I talked about this in another in another video um, going with like some services to add pop-ups and stuff like that so I would definitely use an email pop-up put up an offer up there like 10% off your purchase today or something like that if you give us your email and then you can send them a coupon in their email and then you've basically collected data on a customer and you have the and you have their email to remarket to later on so super valuable um, make sure you have newsletter and email capture set up. All right, guys, so the last thing was social media profile. So as you can see on the bottom of my footer, I have a follow us. I have Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram. Um, you definitely want to have your social profiles linked and set up to your website. Uh, it's just create social proof when you have a Facebook with some followers and likes and an Instagram with some followers and likes. And, you know, you're pinning stuff on Pinterest of your products. It just it creates your business as a whole. You're out there spreading the word of your business and getting followers and people that you know want to buy your products. If you don't have social media, I mean you're gonna you're one gonna have a really hard time getting any kind of traffic, right? Social media is a great way to get organic traffic and free traffic. Um, and it's a great way just to attract people to like your brand and to spread awareness of your brand. Um, there's no reason why you should not have social media in today's day and age. You're gonna definitely struggle uh, with 
basically having a, su a successful website if you don't have social media. So add your profiles, at least I would definitely add a Facebook and an Instagram. Have them down on the bottom and then as you can see right here I have a, my own hashtag so you know use the hashtag my active ambitions for a chance to be featured on our Instagram. So have people using your have people using your hashtag to spread your brand and make social media incorporated into your whole business, right? Revolve your social media around your business and have it in every piece and aspect of it so that, you know, it just operates as, you know, a day-to-day -day thing. You want to have people coming to your business and sharing your things on social media because that's just how the world works now. That's how brands grow and become, you know, huge brands from nothing by starting on, you know, a Shopify store. So add your social media and keep up on that. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully those tips will just help you get your Shopify store looking a little bit cleaner and your business will look a little bit more legitimate and the customers that come to your website, you know, you'll get a boost in sales because they're going to look at you and, and see a real business, a business that's been around for a while and knows what they're doing. So if you like this video, make sure you drop below, smash that like button and let me know in the comments of some of the videos you guys want to see. I'll catch you in the next one.